Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Big Pharma Strategy and Tactics Episode 8. So in our last episode we uh, planted the seed for a rather epic cure um, that we have in mind here. That being said, I'm going to just take these off here so it doesn't keep burning the ingredients because we, uh, we don't need to run this line anymore at the moment because we are waiting for our ultraviolet cure and we have a little bit of time a little bit of a of a effort to go there uh we need to get specialist processing first then the ultraviolet cure so no way to hasten that up but there are still more things that we can do with our lovely company while we wait uh, one of the things I wanted to do, and uh, usually I do this before I get into centrifuges, but I want to get, uh, I want to get, I want to, uh, I want to start rocking a multi mixer product because I know some of you out there, especially who are new to the game, are not familiar with how the multi mixer works. And honestly speaking, you usually use the multi mixer a lot more often in your various playthroughs than you will the centrifuge. There have been many a games where I've completely skipped over the centrifuge uh, research just because I didn't really see a burning need for it. But here. here here we, we, we have the conditions needed to make the centrifuge count. But in that case, we do not want to uh, neglect our multi-mixer here. So that is what we're going to be going, getting into at the moment. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to choose this latter half of this little building here as a good multi-mixer site. It's not going to be quite as involved as this madness, but it's still going to be involved uh, to some degree. Um, right, then, there we go. So, um, as far as what we're going to be doing with this, well, I, we need to research our, ing our ingredients. Again, this is a skill, this is, this is the skill that lets you really get good at this game, is analyzing your ingredients and looking for opportunities. Now, we found one hell of a golden opportunity in the last episode, but here we got to find another one, and this time we got to look a little bit harder because the multi-mixer is not quite as powerful as the centrifuge when it comes to mixing stuff up. Now, um, one of the things I noticed um, pays decently well is uh, liver disease right here. 111%, 424 for a level 2 cure. That is about as much as some of the level 3 cures out there. See, bronchitis, 440. It pays almost as much as bronchitis, um, which is pretty impressive to, uh, to say the least. Um, so it's definitely something worth going for. Now, it needs a catalyst. It does not have its own catalyst. Um, but it, what it does have is it has two empty spaces. Um, so now we just need to look for, um, look for opportunities to somehow mix that catalyst in. Now, the way the multi-mixer is, is it basically inserts ingredients into the empty spaces. So if you have, you can't multi-mix two ingredients that are all full up. It just won't work. That's why we needed to use the centrifuge with uh, with our other ingredients because all four they 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 were all full up. But in this case, look at this. If we um if we if we uh, shaker this uh, gelatinous zurine quartz down a level, put the gout on the bottom level and the constipation right above it, and that will put the two empty spaces here at the top. What happens if we do that? Well. If we multi-mix in the um, the uh, Ducile Banode juice, uh, we'll get the catalyst plus another freebie cure effect in there. Now, we're already using Com's Acid Reflux, uh, but you know what? Let's take a look. Let us see. Uh, well, what we need to do is we need to, uh, we need to see what the next level is uh, for Acid Re... Uh, not Acid Reflux. Uh, stomach Ulcers, 8 to 12. Lizard... All right. So stomach ulcers and liver disease don't play well with each other. Uh, acid reflux and liver disease does play well with each other. But let's take this to logical conclusion. Let us, let's just do a test line to get a cure up here uh, to make stomach ulcers so we can see the next level of digestion and see if we can make something work with it. Um, we may just be doing something humble. Level 2 and a level 1 cure on the same cure is nothing to sneeze at. Um, but I just want to see. I want to see. I want to, I want to, to take it to its logical conclusion. So we're just going to do a sample line here. And this time we are aiming to upgrade it. So it's 16, 12. Sorry, an agglomerator plus an evaporator will make that happen for us. And actually, I don't need to buy new stuff. Just use this old equipment here. 
And again, look, not looking for strict efficiency here. I just want to upgrade it. And then once you're up, up to there, uh, one more evaporator will make that happen. I do not have a spare evaporator, so one more evaporator it will be. Because that will give us the entry on our page uh, that tells us what, uh, what the level 3 cure is of the digestion line. And, uh, what, and more importantly, what that cure's uh, effective range is. Uh, let me see here. Da, da, da. I'm missing something. Appetite suppressant! It needs an autoclave. Um, 1115 versus... Nah, it still doesn't play nice. So, our best bet is to go a little bit more humble and do the liver disease plus uh, um, acid reflux. And if I need to, since I don't want to over flood my own... And actually, we have a little bit of room in my own market for this acid reflux. So, I can actually do that and not butcher my, my level 1 lines there. Uh, so, yeah, let's make that happen. Um, Alright, so... What we're going to do here, we're going to buy up these two plots, make ourselves plenty of room. We are going to uh, move all this junk, including the our little test line here, because uh, we want to we want to plan this out from the ground up. Oh, for Pete's sake! Come on, let me move this. Thank you. I mean, I don't technically need to hold on to this junk anymore. I'm making money hand over fist, but eh, force a habit. I think I might even be able to pill print it. <laughs> All right, so our first uh, first order of business here is that we need to uh, shake one of these ingredients. We need to shake the gout uh, ingredient to get the two blank spaces up there. So we're going to start with this. Um, and we're going to get our shaker, our money maker, shaking our money makers. And yeah, no, no real way of getting around that one. Oh, well, actually, no, it needs to be one further out. All right, so you feed into these two. Or actually, you know, it might be a better option as we go the other direction. If we start you and you like that, perfect. Because these things operate at a speed of two. One, one door can feed the both of them. So feed the both of them, it shall. All right, so we've got our ingredient number one. We need ingredient number two, this one. Uh, the Ducile Bantode juice, um, which will be imported here. These two are going to connect up to each other. This one is going to be its own thing. Now we break out the multi-mixers. All right, now these things feed in two ingredients and spit out one. And they, well, basically mix them. These also operate at a speed of a two, so we need two of them to get a full production line. And yes, we are going to be shooting for a full production line here. Um, can we... We can make... We can make it work. We can make it work. I think. I think. Hmm. Actually, if we move it down one... We can make it work. Uh, if we do this, we might be able to make it work. Yeah, we can make it work. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. In fact, we might even be able to make this work without having to scooch it too much. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You, my friend, come down here, and you're going to run over here. So this feeds into these two top slots. You are going to come down here, feed into that slot, and again, using our little fancy uh, uh, cro uh, crossbeam mojo here, we're going to do a little cross uh, crossbeam here, because this thing can only hold one at a time, but this whole belt is only moving at a cycle time of two, so they'll take turns, in theory at least. 
Uh, I will test this out to make sure my theory is correct and that I'm not being embarrassed by the simulation here. All right, let's cook this up and see this thing in action. Uh, now the multi mixers, you what you want to do is you can the way you tweak this is you can't pick which one's going to which, but you say which one's the base and which one is the additive. What you want is you want the base to be the one with the spaces in it because that is the one will that will keep. If you make this the base, it'll obliterate both of these, and the whole multi mixing process will be pointless. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure that that's in there uh, for both of them because sometimes they can appear on the other side. Um, so just carefully check your multi mixers uh, uh, and which which one is the base before you uh, before you handle that. See this one. All right, good. Our bases are correct. Now this thing's gonna freeze until it makes its way over here. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a log jam here until this one makes it through. So we get this, and boom, we've got our mixed ingredient here. All right, good, and that clears that little log jam here. All right, good, and we've got we've got acid reflux. We've got uh, the gout with the blurs vision here, uh, six to an eight concentration. So we just need to bump up the concentration a little bit here. And now, now that we're dealing with normal concentration boosters, we can we can consult. Basically, this is all one line now. Uh, actually, that'll work. That'll work. Talk about being space efficient here. Oh, that obliterates the blur's vision. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful about that. Blur's vision, zero to three. Uh, so we're going to have to hit this with some uh, evaporators uh, because we do not want to annihilate blur's vision. That's unfortunate. All right, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, because you do not want to obliterate your catalyst before you use it. Once you use your catalyst, you can obliterate it with quite safely. Um, in fact, you're encouraged to because the catalyst is also always a side effect. All right, so uh, let's let's try this again. So this is at a two. This will make it a three. This will make it a four. Um, we ultimately need to get to a six. So let's agglomerate it. Actually, we could do this. I might have to sacrifice this store slot, or maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, let's try that. So that is what's actually going to upgrade our liver disease. All right, good. Uh, we need to hit it with a dissolver, which I know we have a spare one of those lying around. To actually do the the physical upgrade. I'm still technically not blocking this section off, although it, it's starting to look like it will be. Uh, but that's the that's the them's the breaks when working with limited space here. Because I don't think I'll be able to get two of these lines in place here. Um, all right, comms acid reflux. Um, all right, and liver disease. Okay, now uh, what we want to do? Where's our uh, where's our analyzer? Our our one? Yeah, right here. We want to analyze this because uh, we want to see what the sweet spot of the liver disease is. Because uh, that's going to be important to us uh, to in, in deciding what the final and proper uh, uh, thing is. Because we know what acid reflux is. Um, and we don't need to worry about either of the side effects or obliterating them because we're going to just be dodging them. All right, so let's let that cook for a little bit. Holy crap, our ingredients. Um, what are we doing? Well, we're about to use this stuff, so let's give it some upgrades. Um, this stuff might uh, get see some use. Uh, 
Uh, I'm waiting for the Sub-Zero training in the Deep Sea stuff in order to get at that stuff, which I think I am researching. Uh, I got five upgrade points here. Oh, let's get the multi-mixer, since we're starting to press that into service. We certainly, uh, certainly don't want to be paying full price for that. Centrifuge is its thing. That's doing thing. Um, yeah, we could go with a, a level... Uh, yeah, one more, one more research point will give us something good. We can see how far our competitors have researched. It looks like uh, Katana Tech is the only one that's researched patents. So my race for that one patent is probably going to be a no contest unless Katana tries to dominate that uh, that market as well, uh, which I don't think they'll do. I don't think. I could be wrong about that though. All right, let's let you cook a little bit faster here. Get that liver disease sweet spot, so we can make a decision as to what we want to uh, what we want to make here. Do 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 do. And liver disease, the the liver line is kind of a weird one. Oh, hang on, we got a gap in our uh, production line here. Hang on, let's uh, let's take a look further back here. Oh yeah, you guys don't need to be connected to each other. You can just go straight in there. Yeah, ah, that's that actually works quite nicely. Cad cadence of two, cadence of two, that works out perfectly. This one's a little bit backed up. Yeah, see that when that happens like that. When that happens like that, it gets a little backed up. Yeah, because we want this to be every other, every other. And that'll give us full cadence here. Or as they say in Six Sigma, tact time. Maximizing our tact time. Uh, oh, I think we got our... Uh, there's our liver. Is that... Are, are, we, uh, are we looking at a double-double here? Holy crap, we are! Well, I think we know what our uh, sweet spot needs. Oh, no, wait, nope, 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 not quite. Um, so, max strength is 16, max strength is a 17. Um, I'm probably going to make it a 16. It's less processing, and it's we're close enough on here. So, I think we're, we're in good shape. So, it's just a matter now of just processing it to the nines with agglomerators. This is going to be a high enough cure value that... Uh, Agglomerators are going to be worth the extra expenditures here. So that's 6, 9, 12, um, 15, and um, an evaporator will make you 16. And actually, ironically, yeah, this is going to be bound for a pill printer. No need to get the drug packer involved because we don't have the room for uh, for that extra amount of stuff. Here we go. Uh, do I need one? I think I need to buy another pill printer. <laughs> Yeah, because these things have no side effects. Uh, I don't think I'd have the room to uh, syringe it once I get my syringe maker. Tempting as that is. And boy, is that ever tempting. All right, uh, that should do it for us. For this particular cure line, anyway. And this is kind of an esoteric uh, build here, so I don't think our competitors will be following suit. Yeah, it looks like we're finally getting full, full, full belt saturation here. Um, so yeah, there we are. Sweet spot plus... Wait, 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 what? Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's not, yeah. And we accidentally obliterated the constipation while we were at it. Oh well, that's great.
And we got our uh, antihistamine cream for two years. Not too shabby. Now, my curiosity here is, is this going to pay off for us? So we've got our cream here. Um, antihistamine. So they abandoned it thanks to that. And they abandoned it. So they're not... Uh, they're not going to be able to uh, to go into that, but yeah, the uh, there yeah, they're pretty much gone with from this uh, from this whole market. Antihistamine, antihistamine. One thirty-seven saturation. Um, still saturated. But that's more Chan's fault than everybody else's fault. He kind of ramped his production up. And you know what? I could just just stick it to him by trying to uh, make a little bit more antihistamines in here because I'm feeling I'm feeling like sticking it to him um, and you know what let's uh, let's rename this drug here our acid liver catcher rename of uh, um, beer and wing night There we go. Too much spicy food, too much alcohol. This will be your, your uh, after cure here. Hey, we finally got a C plus on our uh, on our side effect filled uh, cheer amplifier. Huzzah! That's okay. We we make up for it in volume. Yeah, this hypertension medication. I've stopped selling that ages ago. Get the heck off my profile. Uh, but yeah, this thing uh, this thing should probably be an A or a B plus. And current profit, 305 bucks. This is currently our most profitable uh, endeavor here. Granted, we are only having one full-size line here. But yeah, let's get those uh, let's get those antihistamines a rocking. Uh, let me just remind myself what uh, what stuff. Oh, we did have more pill hunters. Oops. Uh, so yeah, just one, just one, uh, just one of those, which we have. Ooh, you know, here's a curious, here's a question. Here's a question. Can we do a two-line um, boxing? Yeah, here, let's 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 see if we can really, really squeeze things in here. So this is line number one, this is line number two. We need two. We need to somehow squeeze in two creamers and two uh, uh, boxes things. Uh, these things are so freaking bulky. Yeah, not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna have another orphan. But that's okay. That is okay. We'll live. It's kind of going the long, the, the long way around it, but eh, whatever. Uh, antihistamine, antihistamine. There you are. And yeah, we're already up to, to level four of this one because we use it so darn much. Uh, but I do have eight points, so I can do another big beefy uh, upgrade elsewhere. Um, where is our sexual health? The other thing I might want to do, uh, speaking of patents, is patent do a do a queue up a big long uh, patent on my sexual health medication because it's kind of our backbone at the moment, and I do not want somebody getting the sexual health. It actually, does anyone have the sexual health ingredient? That's a good question. Uh, warts, 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 warts. Nobody has it yet, so it's still still a good time to do it, and also a good time to do the upgrade. All right, huzzah! All right, what are you doing, Mr. Chan? Cough crusher. Cough crusher. We're already making cough medicine. What are you doing? 
Oh, because it's your you you couldn't be bothered to dodge the dry's mouth? Really? Well you make a whole lot there, Chad. <laughs> Let's just compare that to our uh Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of acid reflux. I'm about to say it. Like I'm not in the cough medicine industry. Let him let him have his cough crusher. All right, well, this is a good stopping point for this episode. So in our next episode, uh, we will continue progressing down the research tree, um, soon to be getting our specialist processing and that ultraviolet cure. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be looking to other fun, uh, uh, other fun uh, breakthroughs and what have you once we get our Sub-Zero training here complete. So it should be a fun one. Uh, so if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!